All right. It is. Uh, time is at 642 now on yeah. daybreak and this morning we are giving you a whole new perspective on the west side of Buffalo as we're taking you to the streets. Yeah, and as they say, what's in a name as we find out in this morning's unknown story of Western New York, the streets of Buffalo actually spell out a celebration of our nation's birth. Looking at the street map of Buffalo is like looking into history here on the west side. You can see the original street grid of the village of Black Rock which was laid out by the state of New York in 1802. You can also see a pattern of patriotism. Like the 13 stripes on the flag, 13 of those original streets were named in honor of the 13 original colonies of this country that was just 27 years old at the time. The streets were laid out by um, Peter Porter when it was owned by the state of New York. Angela Keppel has spent a lot of time researching Queen City street names, mainly here at the Central Library. She's an urban planner by trade, but became interested in the streets when she noticed a street in South Buffalo that has her family name. It's seven years and I still haven't really uncovered Keppel Street completely. But she has developed a successful blog, which tells the stories of more than 150 streets in Buffalo, including the story of the 13 colonies of Black Rock. Were you surprised that Black Rock came down as far as it did? I was, yeah, because we kind of think of the neighborhood of Black Rock up by the Skajakwita Amherst Street. Um, and really, there was um, the original Black Rock was what we consider like the Lower West Side today. Black Rock and Buffalo were rivals back in the early 1800s, and many may not realize it, but the Black Rock Street plan extended almost to Niagara Square and makes up much of what is the West Side today. As you drive up Niagara Street today, those colonial names just pop out at you from Georgia at the south end to Hampshire at the north. There are just a couple of streets that break the order, Hudson and Porter, but there's a reason for that. Hudson was originally named Delaware Street. That is until Black Rock was annexed by Buffalo and there was already a Delaware Avenue in Buffalo. Porter Ave was named after General Peter Porter, a war hero, former Congressman John Quincy Adams, Secretary of War and a community leader in Black Rock. The street, however, was originally an extension of York Street in honor of New York. And the history of Buffalo is really spelled out in the streets. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're standing here on Clinton Street and, um, you know, Clinton's Ditch, the Erie Canal that shaped Western New York so much. So the next time you find yourself in downtown Buffalo, you may want to take a quick cruise through history and through the unknown stories of Western New York. And if you would like to check out Angela's blog, it is buffalostreets.com. Really fascinating history that you don't really think of until you bring it to our attention, Pete. And I stumbled around those west side streets for years and it never really clicked in that, hey, those are all the, th the 13 colony names. Now so. you know. All right. Well, from the west side streets to all the other streets around Western New York, let's get a check of the traffic this morning with Dave Cash.